here a magnetic field is given as b equal to b0 cos omega t in k cap k cap means out of the paper out of the screen a coil of radius a with the resistance r is placed in the xy plane with its center at the origin in the magnetic field find magnitude of the current at a point a 0 0 at time t equal to pi by 2 omega at time t equal to pi by omega and t equal to 3 pi by 2 omega since the magnetic field is changing with time an emf is induced in the coil the induced emf is minus d phi by dt and flux phi equal to b dot a so b is given the coil area will be pi r square here radius is a since it's an xy plane the area vector will be out of the screen k cap so the magnetic field is given as b0 cos omega t k cap the area of the coil is pi a square that also out of the paper k cap now the magnetic flux is b dot a vector b dot vector a k dot k becomes 1 then it will be just b0 cos omega t into pi a square so pi a square b0 cos omega t will be the flux according to faraday's law induced emf equal to minus d phi by dt you can substitute phi here so induced emf equal to minus d by dt of pi a square b0 cos omega t after that only cos omega t is varying with time pi a square b0 constant comes outside so minus pi a square b0 into d by dt of cos omega t d by dt of cos omega t we already know the integration d by dt of cos omega t is minus omega sin omega t so substituting this instead of here you get minus pi a square b0 into bracket minus omega sin omega t the minus minus get cancelled omega join with the constant pi a square b0 omega or omega pi a square b0 with sin omega t that's induced emf so induced current will be induced emf by resistance so just divide by r so omega pi a square b0 by r into sin omega so this is the expression for the induced current uh, as you change the time value you get different different values for the induced current so the first case time is given pi by 2 omega so substitute ts pi by 2 omega so it will come as omega pi a square b0 by r into sine of omega into pi by 2 omega 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 get cancelled pi by 2 so sine pi by 2 is 1 sine 91 that means it's just pi a square b0 omega by capital r that will be the current at that particular instant in that particular position the point a 0 0 is given as the wire only so the current passing through the wire is same everywhere now case 2 at t equal to pi by omega so instead of uh, t just give pi by omega so you get sin omega into pi by omega 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 to sin pi sin 180 0 so the current also will be 0 at that instant now the third case t is 3 pi by 2 omega substitute t as 3 pi by 2 omega the beginning part remains same sin omega into t will be 3 pi by 2 omega 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 will be 3 pi by 2 sin 3 pi by 2 sin 0 is 0 sin 90 is 1 sin 2 pi by 2 is sin pi actually sin 3 pi by 2 is again minus 1 minus 1 into this will be negative of this means current flow in the opposite direction first and third case the values are same but current flow in the opposite direction 